Asian communities have dealt with verbal and physical violence for decades. But since the COVID-19 pandemic, racist and violent crimes have heightened in American society regardless of age or gender. Most times, we are unaware and almost helpless about what to do when we feel threatened or violently attacked by an offender. Before we go over any self-defense techniques, we're going to be going over how to do a fighting stance and also going over how to do a basic footwork. Step number one, getting into your fighting stance. First, I'm going to open my legs shoulders apart and because I'm a righty, I'm going to step back with my right foot two times. So I'm going to go one and two. Okay, with your upper body, I'm going to put my hands up high, elbows in and chin down. Also, you want to drop your hips just a little bit and getting into your self-defense stance. Step two, how to use your basic footwork. So I'm going to get into my fighting stance. I'm going to put my chin down, hands up, one foot forward, one foot back. When I move forward, I'm going to take a step with my lead foot so like this and then follow with my back foot like this. Okay, so we're going to try that one more time. One and two. When I go backwards, I am going to take a step with my back foot first and then follow up with my front foot. One more time, it's going to go one, two. Now, if I go to my left side, I'm going to take a step with my left foot first, one, and then follow with my right foot, two. So one more time, one, two. If I go right side, I'm going to take a step with my right foot, one, and follow with my left foot. So one more time, one, two. Now, all together, we're going to go forward twice, back twice, left twice, right twice. Ready? And go. One, two, and back. One, and two, left, one, two, and right, one, and two. As you saw in this video, a lady was being grabbed by her wrist by a stranger. So when she was putting her credit card in, the stranger was grabbing her wrist like so, and he pulled. Now the first thing you want to do is use your voice. You can say, stop, don't touch me. Now if he doesn't let go, we can try one thing, wrist escape. So what I'm going to do is keep my hands up and I'm going to rotate my hand down and then I'm going to flick my hand to my chest. Boom, escaping here, getting my hands up, getting to my fighting stance, walking away saying stop. Now we're going to have Judy uh, demonstrate the situation. So Judy is pretending she's putting her card in. Now the stranger grabs her wrist and now the first thing Judy wants to do is you speak up and use her voice. Stop! Don't touch me! Now if the guy doesn't let go, one of the things you could do is wrist escape. So she's going to put her fingers up, rotate clockwise, and flick her hand to her chest. And then she's going to have her guard up, walk back, and say stop. Stop! Now, if you try this wrist escape and it did not work, so my partner is going to be grabbing my wrist again, but this time, for some reason, it didn't work. So now the next thing you can do is add a palm strike. So using my palm on my hand, I'm going to swing across his ear, boom, and also if he doesn't let go, I can keep attacking with my palm, boom, boom, until he lets go and have my hands up and say stop and walk away. So we're going to have Judy demonstrating this situation again. So our partner is going to be grabbing Judy's wrist and she's going to say stop. Stop! And if the stranger doesn't let go, she's going to attempt the wrist escape. Now, if that doesn't work, now she's going to strike with her palm. So Judy is going to swing across the partner's ear as hard as she can and also palm strike to his face if he doesn't let go. Boom, until the partner lets go and she's going to be in her guard stance, walking backwards, shouting stop. Stop!
the stranger is coming up to her harassing her and maybe saying some racial slurs and right before the video ends you can see the guy is about to strike her now in this situation this is what i would do so number one is awareness be aware that you're feeling a threat so when i feel a threat i will get into my self-defense stance getting my hands up now if he throws a strike then one of the things i love to do is called covering up so i can cover up like this or like this. So to cover up, I'm going to put my hand, my palm in the back of my head and I'm going to use my forearm and my bicep to cover my face. So when he throws, I'm going to cover up like so. So from a different angle, when he throws that punch, boom, I am going to cover up and after the cover up, I can strike back with my own palm. Bam! And back away saying stop. Now Judy will be demonstrating the situation. So Judy's gonna be in her guard stance. Now when the opponent strikes, she's gonna cover up and she's gonna throw a palm strike of her own. After that, she's gonna put her hands up and she's gonna walk back and say, stop. Stop. Sometimes you can encounter a different situation. Maybe the guy's not gonna throw a strike. Maybe he's gonna start attacking your neck with a choke. So in this situation, I'm here, I see awareness and he go grabs my neck while I'm going for the choke. Now, in this case, what I would like to do is I like to grab his wrist like so and I'm going to take a big step back. One. Now, I'm going to bring my left hand up. I'm going to turn my body like so and I'm going to chop his wrist down, attacking his forehead with this arm. One. And follow with the palm strike and walking back saying stop. I'm going to show you in a different angle. So again, he grabs my neck. I'm going to grab his wrist. I'm going to take a right foot step back. One. I'm gonna bring my left hand up too. I'm gonna rotate this side and I'm gonna chop down on his wrist. Now, the reason why he lets go is because he feels a lot of pressure on his wrist. Now, I'm gonna elbow strike to his temple, boom, and follow with the palm strike, hana, and I'm gonna move back in my guard stance. So we're gonna have Judy demonstrate the situation. So again, Judy is being choked and she's gonna grab her, his wrist and take a big step back, one. Then she's gonna bring her left hand up, rotating her whole body all the way to the side and chopping it down, one. Following with the left elbow and follow with the right palm strike. And she's gonna have her guard up, walking back and say stop. Stop. Let's look at a different scenario. This time, my stranger is not gonna come up to me and throw a strike or he's gonna grab my neck. What he's gonna do is just come up and maybe he just wants to talk, say some nasty things, using bad language, racial slurs, who knows. So I'm in situation here. Now, this is a terrible situation. Why? It's because my partner can throw a punch at my face. Boom. And that's called a sucker punch. Now, we don't know if he's going to attack us or talk to us. We don't know the situation. So one of the things that I like to do is use my palm and place it on his bicep. Now, with, in this situation here, I am going to take a step back, getting into my little defense stance, and I'm going to use my words to stop the situation. One of the things I like to say is, again, stop, don't hurt me, or you can say, stop, leave me alone. So I can say, stop, don't hurt me, stop, leave me alone. Now, in this case, he's coming forward, so I'm still stopping him with my palm and my hand around his bicep. Now, if he throws that punch, Boom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my arm up, kind of connecting his, my forearm towards his forearm here. Now he might throw another punch and boom. And because I'm connected, I am always going to be defending myself. Now the situation is this, while I'm blocking, he's a little too strong. So he's pushing, 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 pushing. I'm going to go behind his back, rotate and have a good back control. In this situation, I want to put my face next to his back so he does an elbow strike. So go for the elbow strike. Nope. And also he might headbutt me. Yes, okay. If he does hit me, uh, because of the lack of distance, he's not going to generate too much power, so he's not going to hurt me. So I'm going to be in control here, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to give a hard shove. I'm going to walk back with my combat stance. So let's have Judy demonstrate the situation for us. So Judy, in this situation, uh, a stranger is coming close, and she's going to place her palm on his bicep. Now she's going to take a step back, yes, and she's going to say, stop, leave me alone. Stop, leave me alone. Now, if the guy leaves her alone, that's great. But what if the guy throws a punch? 
Now, if he throws a punch, she's gonna bring her arm and elbows up. Then he throws another punch. Boom. And as soon as that happens, she can duck under and go behind his back. So one. Right, and now she's having a good back control and she's gonna put her head next to his back so he doesn't get, she doesn't get elbow striked. So one. Yeah, so I, also right partner can go for a headbutt. Okay, and then when she's ready, she can give a hard shove, walk back in her self-defense stance, and say stop. Stop! As you see in this video, you can clearly see a lady was waiting for the bus at the bus stop and a stranger came up and was kind of harassing her. She stood up, trying to walk away, but he pinned her to the wall. Now, in the video you saw she threw a knee strike. So when the guy was holding her shoulder against the wall, she threw a knee strike. Now, the knee strike, I would like to go for the groin. So if I'm here, if he's kind of close, boom, I go for the groin. Or if he's a little bit far, I might make me want to throw a front kick, boom, to the groin. So one more time, I can either throw a knee to the groin, bang, or I can throw a front kick, bang, to the groin. Now, in the video, you can see, clearly see that she was running away, but you don't want to run and show your back. Again, you want to be facing your opponent, having your guard up, and walk away and shouting. In the video, you can clearly tell she was trying to run away and the guy kept up with her and grabbed her from behind. So she was running away and got her back taken like this. Now my arm is under his arm. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to drop my weight a little bit like this and I'm going to grab his hand so he doesn't go for my neck. Now number two, I'm going to step around. In this case, I'm going to bring my right foot around his back thigh here. Now. Next step, I'm even gonna grab his thigh like this, or you could grab the pants, that's up to you. Normally, you can pick the guy up and slam, but in this case, let's just assume that he's a lot heavier than you. So what I like to do is just bend my knees, this knee, and keep this knee, keep this leg straight. So I'm gonna bend this knee and keep this leg straight, and I'm gonna sit on my butt. Now, I'm gonna put all my weight on top of him. Now, I'm gonna scoot back, one, and I'm gonna use this hand to pull his knee down, and I'm gonna step over and get on top in this position called mount. One more time. So he grabs me from behind, boom, my arm is under his arm. So what I'm gonna do is again, cup his hand here. Now I'm gonna take a big step back, like so, one. Again, I'm gonna grab his thigh, and I'm gonna bend this leg that's outside and keep the other leg straight. And boom, sit here. I'm gonna scoop my butt up. One, getting higher on towards his torso. Now I'm gonna use my hand to push his knee down and take a big step, one over him. And mount here, stay on top and get it ready for your self-defense position. Another scenario is let's just go back to a rear bear hug. So again, my partner grabs me from behind, boom, going for a bear, bear hug, but this time, maybe he's just really aggressive, he throws me to the ground. But I fall down, boom. In this case now, he can come up and start attacking me, boom, or worse. So, the first thing you wanna do is face your opponent. You never wanna show your back and cover your head. Then you're not fighting back. So you wanna face your partner, and the first thing you wanna do is manage your distance with your legs. So if he's approaching close, I'm gonna use my legs to place it on his hip, and I'm gonna raise my hip up and put both foot, both feet on his hip. Now from here, you wanna control the distance. Now with my legs, 
I'm gonna make sure he's not close enough to punch me in the face. So he's here, I'm making sure he doesn't hit me. Now, obviously I don't wanna stay here all day, I wanna attack back and escape. So one of the things I like to do is throw a strike with my legs. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna throw an upward kick. So to do so, I'm gonna lift my hip up using my legs like this. And then I'm gonna throw an upward kick, one. I can throw an X kick, two. And also I can also throw a kick towards the shoulder flex, okay, using my heels. After that, I can push him off and stand up. And this is gonna be called a technical stand up. The technical stand up, we're sitting like this, okay? We're gonna have one side of your leg go down and one side of your leg go up. And also I'm gonna have my hand up for defense. Now if my partner is still close enough, I'm gonna raise my hip up, throw a knee strike, and I'm gonna take a big back step and making sure your leg is straight when this is happening. Then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna get right into my defense stance. Judy will be demonstrating this technique for us. So she's gonna be showing her back and her partner is gonna grab her from behind. Now the partner is gonna throw her to the ground and the first thing she wants to do is face her partner. So she's gonna face and use her legs placement to his hip to stop his attack by creating distance with her legs. Now the partner is trying to punch but he can't reach her because of the leg, dis leg control here. Now when she's ready, she's gonna lift her hip up and throw an upward kick one and then kick to the stomach two. When she's ready, she's gonna push, do a sit up and then she's gonna throw a kick to her knee and take a back step and getting into a guard position standing up. So my partner grabs me from behind and then he throws me to the ground and right away he wants to go on top and get me in this position called mount. Now mount is a very bad position because why? I cannot punch him, but he can punch me. So again, he can punch me, but I cannot punch him. Also, if I try to throw him off, he can base out so he won't be losing his balance. And, I'll ca and also I cannot be muscling my way out. If you do, you're gonna get physically and also mentally exhausted. So the first thing you wanna do is, again, you wanna keep your elbows in so he doesn't climb high. You want your hip to be under his hip. Now, from here, I'm gonna put my feet really close to my butt, and I'm gonna put my head on the mat. I'm gonna keep my hands up just in case for guard, and I'm gonna lift my hip up and throw a little knee strike, like so. Now, from here, I wanna grab his back and put my face close to his body, like this, so I can close the distance, and then I'm gonna put my arms up over his shoulder, like this. When you do this, after that, you wanna walk and keep your hip under his hip. Now from here, I'm gonna do this thing called an overhook. So I'm gonna use this hand, I'm gonna put my hand inside here and overhook one. Then I'm gonna trap the same side of his leg, like this, and two. Now I'm gonna put my head on the mat again, keep the opposite hand up like this, and I'm gonna bridge and roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my hip, one, to lift his hip, and roll over here. Now, as soon as I, get, uh, I roll my partner over, I wanna sit up, put my hand on his stomach here so he doesn't sit up. Now I'm gonna get it to my feet, one, and get up to your defense position and escape. We will have Judy showing this technique. So Judy gets her back grabbed and the stranger throws her down to the ground. Right away, he's gonna mount her by going on top and sitting on her stomach. Now in this case, she's gonna have her hands up and elbows in. Now she's gonna lift her hip up and give a little knee bump. When her partner's hands on the ground, she wants to wrap her hand around his back and put her head close to his stomach. Then she's gonna switch grip by putting it on his shoulder, both hands, one, two, and then she's gonna start walking up a little bit so she could have her hip under his hip. Now after that, she's gonna go for an overhook. Very good, and then also she's gonna be trapping one side of his leg. Now she's gonna have her other hand up, straight up. Now she, her head's on the mat, using her legs and her head on the mat, she's gonna lift her hip, one, and bridge and roll. Now when she's here, she's gonna put her hand in his stomach so he doesn't sit up, get up to her feet, and escape by moving back with her hands up. We hope this video gives a little insight into how to protect yourself from a violent situation. Always remember, as I said before, the most important thing to avoid danger is awareness. And the best defense you can have is your own voice by speaking up and speaking out loud. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and let us continue to pursue the Stop Asian Hate Movement.